Everyone, this is my Mazda. Say hello, Mazda. So the question today, just how bad can the throttle body look on a car that's nine years old and with over 125,000 miles? Well, let's see what we gotta do to figure that out. With the hood open and the prop rod in place, you're going to have to remove the following. The air filter housing, the battery vent tube, the battery cover, and the duct work to the throttle body itself. If you are waiting on instructions on how to remove the plastic clips, anchors, and Phillips head screws, just stop here and take the car to a mechanic. With all of that out of the way, we can dive into the throttle body. So let's get a little bit closer. With the duct out of the way, we have access to the four 8mm bolts that mount the throttle body to the side of the engine. The bolt ends may be a little rusty, so be careful when removing them. After disconnecting the four bolts, there are also two coolant lines that you'll have to disconnect. The port on the upper left can be removed at any time. You may find it easier to remove the port on the right after having removed all four bolts. A long flathead screwdriver and needle nose pliers can make this job much easier. Using a long flat blade screwdriver, Release the red locking clip on the wiring harness, apply pressure with your thumb, and you should be able to wiggle the harness free. The throttle body will release easily, and this is what you are left with. Now that's pretty bad. Here's an enhanced picture to give you a better idea of what you're seeing. As bad as this is, there is a simple solution. With a little CRC cleaner for three or four dollars, a soft bristle brush and some paper towels and in less than 10 minutes you'll be able to go from this to this. Be very careful with trying to clean the outer edges of the brass valve as it is electronic and no longer mechanical. It is possible to damage the unit itself forcing it open and closed. Some mechanics will recommend cleaning this while it is still installed in the vehicle while a second person operates the throttle from inside with the key on but the engine off. I would recommend reconnecting the coolant line shown here before attaching the throttle body back to the engine itself. I would also recommend some anti-seize on the threads of these four bolts to make it easier to take off in the future. With both coolant lines back in place, all four bolts adequately tightened, but not over tightened as they're not high strength. And don't forget the wiring harness for the throttle body. Reconnect the duct work, the filter housing, the battery box, and the battery vent, and you're ready to go. You may notice some hesitation the first time you try to start, which is normal, but it should clear up the second time around. For me, I noticed a smoother idle, easier starts, and smoother shifting from first to second and second to third. And if you're looking for an even deeper clean, check the link in my description for a great video on how to use seafoam.